All right, so let's see how this rest turns out while we're having these like crazy conversations. Oh shit, this looks like a beach. How the fuck did they do that? Oh damn, someone got their asses kicked. Whoa, oh my god, Jesus. The fucking rails are made of spikes. And I just <laughs> hit a landmine, god damn. No, I missed. Oh shit, look at how fucking like. Okay, this track is fucking aggressive, I'm not gonna lie. I had to do a lot more than that to blow somebody up. And I missed another booster. Oh, fuck! Ow. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, I missed another booster. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, God. This does look like a fucking Sonic level. It does. <laughs> <laughs> a Sonic level with a shit ton of spikes. God damn! <laughs> he keeps dropping spikes right in front of you. Well, not just that, but the fucking rails, dude. God damn. Oh, fuck. I span. Okay, it's the blue gunk. I thought those were puddles of water. This is the whale of a track. Shut, shut the Get hell up. Out. <sighs> you know, well, I, I, I really shouldn't be expecting anything more than fucking puns from Master Code. What? It's my porpoise in life. Porpoise? It's a dolphin, basically. Who's so? Who's seen Dolphin's Tale? Nope. I actually have. Mm, I don't think I have. I thought the movie was okay. <laughs> that was alright too. Well, well, wait, is that the fucking one where like the dolphin has like it has a fucked up tail and they make like a prosthetic for it? Yeah, that yep. one. Okay, yeah. I I remember seeing commercials for that one, but I never actually saw it. It was alright. The only. The only real thing that really stood out that was like, really, they put this in was that whole, what was it, the whole Flight of the Valkyrie scene. I was like, really? I was like, you're going to play that? I'm like, other than that, I thought it was just okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. I'll be right back. Don't go. Christ, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. Whoa. Getting your booty fondled. Yeah, no, it's, that th th there couldn't be any more truth from this fucking track. Jesus. Whoa. Damn it, I missed it. Fuck. This is the first time I actually got third place. That's unfortunate. Huh. This is a game series where you play the dolphin cover. Yeah, I played Echo the Dolphin. It's... It, it, it could have been a really good game. I mean, it has some decent ratings and some people like it. But it's such a bizarre game to play. <laughs> I played it on Game Gear. Yeah, I, I did cool play it a little bit on uh, Game Gear, but I did play it on uh, the Sega Genesis. And I'm not going to lie, it is one of the most bizarre games I have ever played. It's like, it's parts of the game can be really frustrating and hard. But other times, oh my god, are you fucking shitting me? But yeah, the, the lore from what I remember was pretty crazy. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, you've got, like, you have aliens, you got this, like, you go traveling through time. It goes, th that series goes places. I'm like, were, were the creators behind this, uh, were the creators behind this franchise so fucking high when they came up with this? <laughs> probably. I mean, they were probably even more high than the ideas that Shigeru Miyamoto thought of for the Super Mario Brothers series. I mean, at least with that one, like, they tried to make some particular sense in that. Fuck. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Pew pew. Get into first. Easier said than done. Christ. You know, I'm starting to appreciate this game more and more. This is like the Super Nintendo version of Twisted Metal. Anybody remember Twisted Metal? I do. Now that's a I game. Didn't, I didn't have a PS4. So I didn't have a PS, so I didn't play Twisted Metal. Well, I didn't grow up with a PlayStation either, but I did see the gameplay and, um,. I played a little bit of it every now and then, and holy crap, like, that game series goes places. I, I, I say that a lot, but, like, basically, it's, you just blow each other up, and it's so, like, it's, it's definitely something that goes hardcore. 
Like, the premise of Twisted Metal is that they're killing each other because the winner of that demolition derby gets an actual literal wish. That's like, the host yeah. of that. The host of Twisted Metal, he's like one of those asshole genies. Oh, yeah, no, I, I remember that. Actually, asshole doesn't describe him. No. <laughs> Because the way he'll twist your words is <laughs> disturbing. And Twisted Metal, just in case I'm mixing up, that's Twisted Metal, the one that's the one with the clown, right? Yeah, yes. Me too. Okay. Yeah, but no, that's how I feel with this game. It's just like a Super Nintendo version of Twisted Metal, but it's more racing than it is just battling and fighting. Oh no! I took a wrong turn. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. There we go. Okay, the game is now starting to get really fucking challenging. Fuck! God damn it, I span. This is where you put on the big boy pants. Yeah. Shit, I missed. What if your pants are in the washer? Well, then you put on the big boy shorts. <sighs> After all, what other shorts am I going to wear to house my massive penis? Fucking hey, Solar. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to see why Mimi loves you so much. <laughs> <laughs> For my dick? <laughs> you can't deny that, man. You can't deny that. God fucking damn it. I, I mean, when I was there for two weeks, yeah, you know. <laughs> it, 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 things got heated, and it wasn't because of the 90-degree weather, so... <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> I love what he Edward says! <laughs> I'm sorry, that- oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, damn it. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. God there, damn it. There were gratuitous no matter amounts. what, I'm just gonna hit that puddle and spin. Oh, man, I'm doing awful on this race. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. I hate come on. Come on. No, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Come on. Come, come on, come on. on. Well, oh, see, the oh, good oh, news. Yes. Woo! The good news about this course is that everybody else seems to be doing just as bad as you are, so you know. <laughs> fair is fair. Hey, we're doing par for the course. Also, I'd like to point out that missile was about a pixel away from blowing you to fucking I know, I saw it too. I'm like, yes, I made it. Like in slow motion. <laughs> no. I I real I I really gotta get myself a physical copy of this game. Yeah. Now this is a game worth playing. Oh shit! Come on, come on. Go 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 go. Okay. Wee! Thanks for the boost, fuckers. Woo! Yeah, thanks for the boost, dickhead. <laughs> Crap, I fucked up right there. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm supposed to go this way. It's one of those cross tracks. Damn! I don't, you're, you're about to see it in a bit because of the delay, but fuck. I think this was the most appropriate game to actually, like, play this. Because, yeah, exactly, like, Derek. You don't see commercials like those anymore. Well, it's Why not just that. It's because like it to... oh, okay. it's because the Fourth of July is near and by. You know, seeing something as epic as this is more appropriate. I don't know why. Maybe that's just me. Racing on a dick-shaped track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, racing on a track like that takes balls. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's a dick with one testicle that is slightly larger than the other. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> It, it, it's a dick, but one of the balls has testicular cancer. <laughs> oh! Oh! Or someone boy. stepped on one. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus! 
<laughs> it's kind of like how you have, you know, you, you have that one nut that oh, perpetually hangs lower than the other nut. It's just this one is just slightly bigger than the other one. Fucking A! <laughs> you know, it's like when you work out with one, with just your right, not just with your right arm for a whole month, but now your left uh, arm. Oh, uh, uh, you mean, you, you mean like when you jack off for a month with just one arm <laughs> instead of using both? Solar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got blown to bits from a fucking missile. Okay. Well, well, so well it's, I it's will the say the there, is, there is one reason that there is one reason. Oh, no, I was blown too. Trust me. Whoa. Fucking God damn it. <laughs> you fucking said it. Don't fucking come at me like I was the one that messed <laughs> He said come. There was plenty of that too. Damn it, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, th I, I said that after like the first two minutes. Shit, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, move your ass. Uh, okay, yeah, that second. was after about three minutes. Anyways, how are you, chat? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just saying, why solar? <laughs> you have to get jacked by jacked. Yeah, No, it's, it's true. There, there, there's a reason that my right arm can sustain motion a lot more than my left one. <clears throat> Come on. Oh! Fuck! I got pushed right into that. Fuckheads. Ha! Payback's a bitch, and I didn't have to do a goddamn thing. That's called karma. Karma can be a bitch. Delicious. Fuck! Come on. God damn. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, Ooh, Bliss. Agua! Agua! You missed, you missed a lot. You missed a lot of penis jokes. Yeah. And sex well, jokes in general. Maybe it's best that I missed it. <laughs> yeah, someone keep picking it around. I was about to say. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it all started mainly because the last track that we were racing on was shaped like a penis with one abnormally <laughs> no! large testicle. No, no, no. You can oh. say no all you want, but it absolutely looked like a dick. I it mean, did. it was kind of it was kind of like it showed because the shaft was really Shit. short and like one of the okay. testicles was <laughs> larger than the other. <laughs> but other than that, it was absolutely a penis. <laughs> that was the time to stop. This moment brought to you by the Lightning Bliss Show. It's time to stop. <laughs> Where are your parents? Weep, weep. Seriously, you're all making me want to get you into Dead by Daylight just so I can murder you over and over again until you stop doing <laughs> These this. are my friends. I love them very much. These are my friends. I love them very much. Yeah, exactly, Golden. You it should definitely get Dead by Daylight. And... Oh, wait. You have it, don't you? Yes, I have it. I can't, <laughs> I can't stream now, the game, though. Comcasted, so, yeah. Yeah, you remember that one scene, you know, where, where fucking Jason couldn't kill somebody because he had shitty Wi-Fi? Yeah, I remember that too. It was the best yes. part of the movie. Cue the Bitty Hill theme. Well, that's the thing, though. It's not going to be a problem on my end. It's going to be a problem on your end because the killer is the host, so. Oh, no. Fucking somebody can't murder me. Fucking oh. The, the, oh, the, shit. The poor children. God damn. I just went over the fucking cliff. Oh, I want to see this. Well, that's really bad. I think Golden Fox is pretty good at killing himself, apparently. Yes. Fuck you. That's a rarity, okay? Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, Don't shut it up so you can't get out of it. You can you set yourself there. <laughs> Have a leave, I can. <laughs> 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 I believe I can fly too, just for an indiscriminate amount of time, and it happens to be over a cliff. <laughs> this isn't flying. This is falling. With <laughs> it just it just reminds me of fucking uh, a Jeff Dunham skit with Melvin, the fucking superhero. It's like, can oh, yeah. you fly? Well, 
Yeah. How far? How far can you throw me? Can you throw me? <laughs> <laughs> what's your What's your theme song? Da 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 da. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's a I heard your trap. wife ha doesn't your wife have superpowers? Well, once a month, a month. <laughs> she becomes she evil, and I she cannot defeat team. her. Our children oh. run in terror. Our dog <laughs> hides under the couch. You have a dog? Actually, I borrowed your chihuahua. <laughs> Daddy, let us in. I used to date Catwoman, you know? How'd that go? Well, it was going good. Then she gave me something I had to take medicine to get rid of. <laughs> oh. And boy, does it itch. <laughs> and now it burns when I fly. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. And, to think, <laughs> and to think that Poison Ivy was someone you would want to fuck that would make your body itch. Fuck, fucking Whoa. Jesus. Christ on Friday night. This is no <laughs> longer a safe stream for pussy. <laughs> uh, it never was. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> exactly. My wife what? My my wife met Wonder Woman, you know. She said she acted like an H O R E W H O R E. You forgot the W, yeah. What's what's a whore? Uh, you know what? Uh, we change the subject back to our previous one. We were mentioning movies that we still like, even though people don't like it. Um, Space Jam. We've been on that subject. We yeah, have really been. Um, oh yeah, Space Jam. That was such a stupid but fun movie. I, uh, I just flat out hate it. Uh, oh. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that you hate fun. <laughs> well, that's the thing, fun. though. When you do look back at it, it's not really the best Looney Tunes. Of course it's not the best movie. That's it's why I liked it, because it... Well, it, it, I, it hey, was a let me, I did, that's not what I meant. It's not the, really the best way to portray the Looney Tunes, I said. There's only one good live-action film with cartoons in it, and that is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. That was... Yeah, well, yeah. I feel like that's, like, the only other live-action movie with cartoons in it. No, there's one other, but that one's just trippy as hell. Which cool. one? I think, cool it, it, I think it was oh, called... Cool World. Cool World. Yeah, cool world. That yeah. movie was complete garbage. I'm I'm sorry. I hate it. I don't it get it at all. Movie. No, you know why? Because, okay, midway in the production, the script was changed by the studio. Ralph Bakshi had the idea of having, like, this, like, somewhat of a horror-like based story with a mixture of animation and live action, which to me is a brilliant idea. But the studio fucked it over because through its marketing, they wanted to make it, um, they, like, they, it, because it costs a lot of money to make, they wanted to, um, set it to be, like, for general, like, for a wider audience, so that way they can make back their budget. Which, they took away all the, like, a huge chunk of the artistic liberties, so a lot of the world that was built that from Ralph Bakshi did not make any look of sense because of that, and it's not his fault. Oh, it's almost as if when you change the fucking script halfway through and you cut out all the stuff that was planned, it's a pretty bad idea. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, fucking bungee. <laughs> Jesus fuck. God, stop dip throwing your mic. <laughs> that, that was the stop, point. Stop eating it. It's more like it. <laughs> well, what do you think deep throating it means? Fucking hell. God damn. <laughs> deep throating means that it is going deep in your throat, much like food. So it's so you saying stop eating it, and they're like, no, no, stop deep throating. It's like, it's the same shit. <laughs> the only difference that you could possibly argue is that deep throating makes a return trip out the way it came. Which is true in the case. <laughs> because I, I guarantee you, you wouldn't want to hear the the fucking journey that it makes if I were to eat it. <laughs> and yes, on. about twenty four hours later, now you can hear uh, the sound of my bowels. <laughs> <laughs> can it's we move right back alone? Can we now? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! I I don't you know, know what? what I need say. food. I'll be right back. I don't know what to oh, say fuck. anymore. Come on, get up there. There we go. That's what uh, she that's said. That's what I said. <laughs> I <heard. laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> you can't get up the hill. 
You couldn't get up the hill. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This is what I get for hanging out with you I'm people. You have to turn me to say bad words. Well, funny enough, that is what she said, you know, after we had to take a break. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking Christ. God damn it, Sol. <laughs> He's solar, solar. You never know quite what it's gonna do next. Ask a worst game of all time that is on your guy's worst list. Oh, well, obviously, it'd be on the worst list if it was the worst one of all time, right? Oh, the see. worst game you've ever played. Oh, what is a really shitty fucking game? I'll let you guys make the decision. You already know my answer. Uh, <sighs> Apparently, no. Admiral made a thing for me. Mm. I can't see it at the moment, though. Honestly, I cannot think of anything. Uh... <laughs> Bless you. Aww. Shut. <laughs> I get. I guess the Sonic Game Boy. Son. No, I'm sorry. The Sega Game Boy. So God damn it! The Sega. The Sonic the Sega port. Uh, the I... Sega Sonic Game! The Sonic Game, game Boy! <laughs> the, the, Sega, the portable Sega Genesis thingy! I know what you're the talking Sonic about. Sonic Game! The classic <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog game that was ported to the Game Boy Advance? The Sega, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that game. That game sucked. Yeah, no, Excuse it's... me, sir. I rolled into your video game store and I'd like to buy the Sonic Game Boy. Jesus. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I know I screwed up, okay? Get off of me! Yeah, and, and hurry up with that order, because I need to go to the, uh, uh, crusty, uh, crusty place, you know, that has the steamed hams and stuff. God damn it! <laughs> you fucking asshole! <laughs> Ass clown! <laughs> Fuck face! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember when Ass Clown was a popular saying by my dad. My dad wanted him to name my dog Ass Clown. <laughs> Most popular Why? one for my family was Butthead. He also wanted to name my dog Bitch, but you know, he had a penis, so that that, that got vetoed pretty quick. Unfortunately, so did Ass Clown, so... Right, let's take if, off. if I get a dog, I might. I'm, uh, I'm telling you right now, if I'm to get a dog, I might name it Ass Clown, and no amount of begging from Mim is going to change that. He will be I named. would, I, I would scream animal abuse on you. <laughs> well, <laughs> Bliss, I guess you could say that there's you a can new. I guess there's a new trigger word you can play around with now, Bliss. You, you could scream animal abuse all you wanted, but you'd laugh your ass off every time I needed him to fucking come to me. Mirror ass clown! <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me a beer, ass clown! <laughs> Fetch, ass clown! <laughs> Jesus, you wanna right, go guys, for a well, walk, well, ass clown? Okay, cool, let's say your singer. You get Mirror tired of it after a while. Come here, ass clown, you get to sleep at the foot of the bed tonight. <laughs> so, you got a clown in, so you got a clown in your bed? Stop barking, ass clown! <laughs> God, There's a burglar good. in the house! Get him, ass clown! Hardest <laughs> game ever! Yes! Thank you, Brass. Thank you, thank you for posting that again. Shit, shit, shit. Besides oh Battlefields on the Nest, the hardest game ever. Oh, oh boy. boy. Uh, there was one game I played on the PlayStation 2. I think it was called Ultra Echo. Uh huh. <sighs> but and... I, 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 I know what I want to say, but I forgot the fucking title of the game. Well, the whole point of this game was you are this unique space marine soldier and you are assigned to go on a mission to this planet that's completely made of Ultra Echo, which is a material that is used for battle suits and stuff. Um, and the whole planet is made of it. And the scientists who discovered it created an Ultra Echo that would obey only his commands. He goes mad and abandons the military, and so we have to go down there and stop him. Uh, we, f we crash on the planet, and this Ultra Echo bonds with our suit. 
and it's an intelligent, it's basically an AI suit, and you're able to morph Jesus. into different kind of things. You can on, go from on, a tank on. to a creature that can vanish to a, a swordsman. Anyway, oh, look at what track I'm on again. It's the penis yeah. track. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> You think I'm kidding? Look at the map. No, he wasn't joking. I didn't say he was. I wasn't questioning him. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what was difficult about this game was when it's the, the ability to stop time. And then after you stop time, you're able to have a small time or session where you're able to clobber an enemy using a key, several key commands. So you have to follow the right pattern. And it's a very fast pattern. If you get it wrong, you could take hits or even Fuck. die from it. And that was a challenge. Am I the only one that liked Jack and Daxter 2? Everybody says that was a hard game. I don't remember having... Well, I mean, I, never, I remember having I never issues. played Jack and Daxter. I never played any, like, PS2 era games because I didn't have a PS2. I no. When I was a kid, I was a generation behind everything. So when everybody had the GameCube, I was still rocking the fucking N sixty four. When everybody had fucking like Xboxes and shit, I was <laughs> rocking awesome. the GameCube. When oh, everybody you were totally had, rocking it, it was, indeed. It was fucking yeah. It was quote unquote awesome, except for everybody was playing all the latest games. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just here with you know fucking Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> now you're making it yourself sound sad, but I thought that was pretty cool. It, it was cool because I never had like a GameCube, so when I got it, I played the hell out of it, but then everybody would talk about these fucking cool new games that came out. It's like, oh yeah, I'm just playing, you know, Super Mario Sunshine for the 20th time after I beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. I love the Jagged Dexter games, including the second one. Everybody says the second one was ridiculously hard. I beg to differ. I had lots of fun with it. Y'all, y'all just some bitches. <laughs> yeah, get good. <laughs> My answer for like the hardest games that I've ever played, like it's really like it's nothing too special out of the ordinary. Um, like I, I, I'm talking about like legit games, no ROM hacks or any of that. So the whole Kaizamari thing, throw that shit out the window. Um, no, um, the hardest games that I have played, um. It's no surprise, it was frustrating playing Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, I know I mentioned this fucking game before, and I can't remember the name of it, and it's gonna fucking drive me up a wall. It's, it's fucking, it was set in, like, medieval times, there was, like, a fucking two-headed dragon, you were playing as this one chick that fucking, I think she had Excalibur, or she was trying to get a hold of Excalibur. I forgot the fucking name of it. It's gonna drive me nuts. Because it, it was a, it was a fucking it was a fucking movie too. That was the thing. It was a movie got, that got turned into a game. Okay, so it's a movie uh... adaptation. God damn it! <laughs> uh, it's gonna fucking drive me insane. I don't know. I, that's not ringing any bells for me. Hang on, it fucking. Doesn't ring a bell for me either. Uh... Fucking. That sucks, but we can't help our friends out figure out what this freaking movie is! Okay, since it's a movie, uh, who's the actress? Uh, oh, I, I fucking Quest for Camelot, that's what it was. Quest oh, for Camelot quest for the fucking- Quest for Camelot! Oh, quest for Camelot God. for the fucking Game Boy. That's, oh. that yeah. shit was fucking brutal. In so like, that was one of the only games I have never been able to beat. Oh, because shit. the final boss is <laughs> basically the final boss was a whole lot of bullshit because he can literally just oh. sit there and walk. Nice. He, he, he's one of those fucking bosses where if you fucking bump into him, that somehow counts as him beating the fuck, clobbering you with a fucking sword <laughs> because you take damage. And, and on top of not only that, on Ooh. top of that, he can just literally walk through all of your attacks with your fucking sword. He can just sit there and walk through it like it's nothing. So he can just walk straight into you, damage you, and then on top of that, he can also fucking, like, jump at you. And every time you- he's one of those motherfuckers that every time you bring his health down to nothing, his health regenerates all the way back to full three fucking times. It was ridiculous. I- he, he was the epitome of a fucking bullshit boss. Bullshit boss. 
Yeah, yeah, no, fucking that, that that was one of the only games I have never been able to beat. I, I mean, I imagine if I fucking played it on a ROM now, I could probably fucking beat it, but... Ugh. Yeah, it sounds I like think it. The, I think the only other game I found infuriating, only because I couldn't find all the secrets, it was Alien Trilogy. Oh, boy. <sighs> Like, Shit. Alien Trilogy has this thing where after you complete a level, it'll ra Ugh. rank up how many aliens you killed. Did you kill 100% all aliens Don't on the map? Oh, Did you find all the secrets on the map? Did you save everybody on the map? And... Shit. Did you die? It's infuriating for someone who's OCD and, and missed things on the level. So it's like, oh, you killed like... Fucking a. You killed 96% of the aliens on this map. I'm like, oh, well, that's good. You only found 10% of the secrets on this map. Fuck you! You killed 96% of the aliens and they Ow, stole the other 90% of the secrets. Should have found that last 4%. Now that you're yeah. you see, you see no. my point, though. Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Home is where the pants are not, and I can safely say that I am home. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> well, I would, but my girlfriend isn't here, so. God oh, damn! I, 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 no, no, I, 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 I walked into that one. You did. You did. Totally did. You have nobody to blame but yourself. I had it coming. He be had it coming. Be he grateful that you didn't walk into play. anything else. <laughs> if you would have been there, if you had seen it, Fuck. you know that you'd have done the same. Yeah, we do. What the heck, Lightning Bliss? What the heck? <laughs> Who I don't the care if Celestia herself was the heavy. Keyframe belongs to me. Boy, you sure look good in that one, don't you? Jeez. I should have done that during the script. What is one game slash level in the game that you refuse to play at night? Mine is Shadow Temple. You think Shadow Temple? God damn! You need to grow a fucking spine. Holy shit! <laughs> um, hi, go to dude. fucking go to the fucking store. Get yourself a gallon of milk and drink it until a fucking spine forms in that back of yours. <laughs> you don't know fear. <laughs> I played Amnesia, I am still on Alien Isolation, and I'm being tapped, and oh, it's time for me to go. No, uh, okay. don't go. I gotta go, I have a no. curfew. I booked the Master Code. Uh, well, I'm gonna book the Bliss. <laughs> no, 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 no! Yeah, I'm back, and I got instant ramen. Nice. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, it's Welcome not back. very instant if it took you that long, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it should be like Back to the Future. It should be like 10 seconds. Exactly. <laughs> oh, goodness. How do you know I did? wasn't walking the whole time, then got the instant ramen? Where did you go to the fucking put it in the microwave, Australia? <laughs> what if I uh, went to the store and back? <laughs> All right, I seriously got to go, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 I remember the first time I played Dying Light at night. At nighttime in the game, that was spooky. Ah, oh, I had to replay these spooky stages ghosts. again. This is the thing I've noticed with this game. Like, there's like a certain amount of uh, tracks that you have to re-race again. So you have to do it a couple of times before you advance to the next track or planet, I should say. It's racing in space. It's racing in yes. space, except for it's not in space. It's actually in uh, Very Sonic Planet Tug. It's Planet Mobius, or Earth, or whatever the fuck it is now. That's hilarious. They had to come up with their own planet. I mean, there's, there's, the there's nothing wrong with, like, coming up with your own universe and having their own planet for your characters of to course. live on and stuff. But at the same time, they're, like, in some games it's Earth and in some games it's Mobius, so, like, which one is it? Damn it. Come on. Fuck! God damn! Oh! Great start, Brad. Great fucking start. Cause I know Son in fucking 
Oh wow! Yeah, no, I just saw that. That was brutal. Yeah, because I, I know, I, I know in Sonic Adventure Two, it's quote unquote the Earth, but I'm pretty sure in Sonic Unleashed, it's Mobius. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I, I know there's ever called it Mobius in the games. I, I think it's uh, because I remember. Uh, do I? The only time I, it's I, called Mobius, I think, it's the classic games. Come on, come on, come on. God damn. Come on. Let's go here. Fuck. Come on, this way. Alright, turn here. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay. Last lap. I don't know what place I'm in. I think I'm in. Oh, I'm in third. Jeez. Oh, nice yeah, yeah. You you gotta fix that there, fella. Yes, I know. Get a little elbow grease to fix your red up. Damn it! Ah! Oh no 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 no! Crap! Turn the other way. There we go. I should probably play more games on my Switch at some point. That would be nice. You know I got a game I want for Switch to be announced. What? Ah, I I know my Strikers. What? I want a new Mario Strikers game. Oh, okay. Uh, and another five dollar oh, donation. Come on, you know how you've ever played it? Mario Strikers Charged. We have another donation. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of sports games, even Thank if they you are for cartoonies. The donation. Yep. Like I, I did five dollars like, uh, for the Mimi. Yeah. I was never a fan of like Mario <laughs> sports games, so fucking like the the only exception I've ever played that was quote unquote a Mario sports game was a uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games for the Nintendo DS. Yeah, that was a bad one to do. Yeah, but I, I I was never really a fan of like fucking Mario Sluggers or fucking Mario Strikers or any of that. So Strikers was just pure adrenaline. Fuck me, dude. It's kind of like it, it's kind of like one of those things. Like, yeah, I, I play Mario games to fucking jump high and occasionally fuck people over with turtle shells. Not, oh, no, 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 not, not to play soccer. What if it was soccer with guns? Well, that's the thing, though. Even with even though it's soccer, you have the items there and everything. I mean, you get the you have to tackle people come on, to electric come on, come on. and all that. Get moving. Fuck, dude. Come on. I remember what I did end up liking in uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games were the quote-unquote dream events. I thought those were pretty fun. The, uh... There we go. Like, on. like dream fencing and dream long jump were my favorite ones. Mainly because dream long jump was just flying, basically. And I loved any sort of video game where you could fly. That's just... I, I just enjoy that type of gameplay. And then dream fencing is like... Yeah, you have swords, but then you can also shoot projectiles out of them, and that's pretty rad. But only if you played as one of the special characters, so... Quote-unquote special characters. There we go. No, I have not played Rocket League. I tried, I couldn't get into it. Grandpa Golden Fox? Really? Nani? <laughs> Grandpa Golden Fox! Yeah, tell these kids to get off your lawn. I'd just be like, Hey, you kids want some lemonade? Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Shuddy. Oh, I got some lemonade here. I got some Nintendo if you kids want to play that. Hello, I'm Lord Baelish. <laughs> <laughs> you kids want to play some Pong?
you cut out real bad for me, so it's sound like you just said, kids, you want a bong? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, kids, you wanna get high? <laughs> Once you get high. Hey. Shit. Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> you have to bring a towel. <laughs> Man, if you go into the pool, make sure you bring a towel, cause you're gonna get wet. You wanna get high? <laughs> oh man, I'm so messed up right now. Well. Uh, Oh my god. Ask y'all your favorite dark slash horror game. Oh boy. Um, dark favorite horror game. That's a tough question for me. You like games where you can fucking get the fucking poop scared out of you? <laughs> I know a lot of people don't consider this a horror game, but hey, it, it has horror in the fucking in the fucking quote-unquote genre of the game, so I'm gonna say, uh, Dead Space 2, uh, eat my dick. No, You're like, oh, it's really not- terrifying. Oh, yeah, according to fucking Eliora, who screamed so loud the cops had to come to her house, yeah. No, it's pretty fucking that scary. that actually happen? Oh, yeah, no, it was on stream, it was hilarious. Oh, <laughs> my god, that is- that's unbelievable. Yeah, no, like, fucking, like, she actually handed the game off to Chris, too. That was the funny part. She wasn't actually, even playing the game, and she was still screaming that low. Actually, I did find, like, okay, so when you go look on YouTube, sometimes you'll find those, like, compilation videos of, like, certain events on Twitch, like, people rage quitting, or, um, th there's just something that happens, uh, with someone. One of which, believe it or not, was a series of how many times that police barged in the door, and they had to, like, stop what they're doing with their hands up. Because oh, there have been some people spotted. Yeah, no, because there was yeah, no, because some people in the fucking the like in the chat rooms, they would stalk on them and they would call the police on them and like create a problem. It's really oh, fucked yeah, up. I know. Yeah, no, that is actually a terrifying experience. No, like I, apparently they started really fucking cracking down on people like that because it's wasting fucking resources that could, it is especially if there's like another emergency that's going on they have to fucking split their resources because some idiot said oh yeah this guy has a bomb in his house and he's fucking playing counter-strike or some shit like really ah oh, jesus christ that's ridiculous it's, yeah like it used to be it used to be like really fucking bad like a I want to say like a year or two ago, but I hear since then they really started cracking down on that, so it's not as common. Yeah, you know, call you know calling the police for you know pranks like that—that's not a joking matter. Like that's poor taste. Yeah, I hear they. Yeah, like I hear they actually started like straight up arresting people for that because it's fucking good. Mis yeah, it's misuse of emergency services. So. Yeah, no, like that—that's one of those jokes that I don't appreciate. Okay, the kind of jokes that I don't appreciate. And I think we talked about humor before, like, I, I can be open to racist jokes if other people are willing to, you know, laugh at themselves about it. But then there's, you know, there's jokes, you know, like that, or uh, one of which that I really can't stand is when somebody pretends to be dead. Like, they fake their, uh, they fake their death saying that they passed away or something like that to get a reaction. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's fucked horrible. up. Yeah, no, that is horrible. And I've known some people online who have actually done that before. One of which, somebody actually managed to do and was lucky enough for me to forgive them, but it had to take a lot of guts. But after that, there have been some people who've done shit that I just, like, I, I don't tolerate at all. It's not funny at all. And some people do it, like, out of other reasons that are very pitiful. I'm not going to go dropping names or anything like that, but people who do that, I just, I don't want to associate with them because it's, it's not a... It's not a funny matter to ever put, you know, death is a very serious topic that should never be taken into any humor situa- uh, consideration. Yeah. So... Don't fake your death, kids. Next topic! Yeah, let's- let's move on to the next topic. Um... Bo boobies? Hey, we were talking about nostalgic movies. How about nostalgic games? Nostalgic sure. Games. <laughs> I just beat uh, Shredder. Like, okay, how I beat Shred is that I blew up somebody. <laughs> it's like, oh, you got first place? <laughs> Not anymore. 
That's your bitch. Mind, bitch. <laughs> Las Vegas is just not so. You, you you know where fucking Vegas is, right? <sighs> well, like it's in Nevada, Morpheus. It's a fucking it's, desert. It's a fucking desert. Not only that, it's like really close to the coast, but not close enough where it can get like the fucking the humid ass air. There you so, go. Yeah, no, it's actually entirely supposed to be that fucking hot because it's a fucking it's a coastal area but not quite a coastal area it's basically only coastal enough to fuck you over yeah that's about it pretty much although to be perfectly fucking honest i would much rather just deal with the heat in vegas than having to deal like it's like 110 degrees in Vegas, but it's dry heat. Here, it's like a good fucking 90 to 95, but it's also like 80% humidity, so it's fucking miserable. Oh, yeah, no, it's... It's like you go outside for fucking five minutes, you come back in, you just feel all sticky and disgusting. It's like, oh, God. Yeah. Especially yeah. me getting up at fucking four in the mornings when it's still like when they still got fucking dew on the grass and shit, and then by the time the sun comes out, I'm just fucking drenched. About half of it is sweat, and the other half is the fucking humid-ass air. Oh, yeah, no. It's fucking miserable. I, I would much rather it just be 110 degrees of just fucking straight heat here than anything else. Yeah, pretty much. Texas is just as bad. Eh, it's debatable. Yeah. Texas has really fucking nice weather most of the time. A lot of people are like, oh, fucking, you know, Texas is just like in the movies. It's really hot. And it's a desert and everybody wears cowboy hats and says, yo. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, it's hi, like, it, it, it's, it's just like, no, Texas is actually, you know, it's, it's pretty humid, but the temperature is also pretty mild, so you know what, it's a lot more tolerable, and the weather's really fucking nice, and the skies are blue, and not gray and miserable, so. Your death mountain from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. What about it? Let the carnage begin! Shit. Death Valley, where have I heard that name before? Well, Death Valley is an actual place because fucking it's fucking hot right. as shit there. <laughs> it's called Death Valley because it's hot as shit there and it's a valley, so the fucking heat kind of gets. Damn it, come on! The Get heat kind of gets reflected down there, so you know, that's even that's even worse. It's It's basically because it's a valley, it's hot and there's not really any shade, so. Yeah, fun. Okay, come on. How about Cali? Cali's very hot also. Death Valley is the center of OMG kill me heat. It's like a tornado, <laughs> except hot. Yeah. Shit, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! Got this. Damn it, come on, turn it 108 degrees. It's a dry heat. This is what they're telling me as they're shoving me into an it. <laughs> I would much rather have 108 degrees of dry heat than 95 degrees of this horse of this fucking horse cock weather. There we go. And just keep going. Oh, <laughs> the two of us who were taking the lead just got obliterated by two of those landmines. Jesus. Hot weather gets kind of unbearable after a few days. Only if you a little bitch. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's speed it up. Let's go. Come on. Ugh. I remember when I was in California for three months. And I, I don't think there was really any quote unquote bad weather there, except for like one day when fucking hailed out of nowhere. But other than that. Like, I'd be outside most of the fucking day, and I'd be running around doing whatever dumb shit people told me to fucking do. And then, like, but I remember, like, oh, yeah, the weather's actually really nice. And even though the sun's out, it's not fucking baking me alive. It's actually pretty cool out because we were right next to the fucking ocean. And uh, little did I realize the ocean is actually pretty fucking cold. 
Because I grew up in Texas, where we're next to the Gulf of Mexico, and you go out in that fucking water, and it's like a good fucking 75 Come degrees. On, it's stretch. nice and warm. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. So yes. I, so I fucking, you know, go to California, and I want to go to the fucking beach. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me get in this here water. Oh, it's like fucking 40 degrees. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm only halfway through the second division. I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode and then record another one to finish the last of which. <sighs> okay.